And welcome back. Um, I haven't posted much in, uh, in a while. Uh, last two videos were very interesting, huh? It's just, wow, who knew that the exhaust valve was actually much more important than, uh, than you thought? I mean, nobody gives it any importance. And I found out that it is, dear God, it's like the holy grail of your carburetors actually running correctly on your IDFs. Fuel exhaust valve should be renamed fuel squirt delay valve but there you go anyway so what i'm doing right now is actually um i'm playing around with the timing and the uh vacuum on the computer you know on the cb performance um what i'm doing is basically i'm trying to run the highest timing to get the lowest vacuum okay the lower your vacuum number the more fuel mileage you're gonna get when you're cruising. I'm not talking about wide open here, okay? I'm not talking about wide open throttle. I'm talking about cruising on a flat surface, okay? So basically, I'm watching Paul. I'm sorry that those laughs that you hear back there is Paul, the alien. It's funny, funny as heck. It's like the third time I've watched it. Anyways, whatever, going back. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, basically on the computer, as I'm running, I, I will basically change, well, actually what I did is I actually changed my 28 degree timing at cruise that I was running, changed it to into a 40. Yeah, it said 40, that much. And magic, my vacuum number went from 86. Yeah, 86, which is really high. And it dropped down to 78, okay? That's the difference of eight. Okay, that's, that's, a little, that's a huge difference. And what I noticed is that my throttle became a little bit more responsive. So I actually had to like back off a little bit because it was, it was I started to pick up more speed. Like, you know, when I, did, when I did the change, it just started to pick up more speed. So I had to back off a little bit to stay at the same uh, speed limit or not the same speed that I was at cruise, okay? So that actually gave me more, uh, vacuum basically so there's a huge difference so that is uh that is the whole thing that i'm doing and, and you know a lot of guys are saying oh that's way too much timing you know what i actually ran it at 42 degrees and nothing changed it didn't the the vacuum stayed at 78 and uh, nothing happened okay so i think i can run 42 yeah it's uh trying to get the mass maximum mileage out of this motor if you guys want to try something like this you guys actually have to make sure that you got all your 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 jetting correctly. Your idle is correct. Your main jet is correct, and your and your uh, air corrector is actually correct. Okay, but other than that, um, basically it makes a huge difference. Um, if your jetting is incorrect, though, I will tell you right now, there won't be a lot of change on your vacuum. Okay, I know because I played with this. I've been playing with this for the last three weeks. Okay, I've been playing with this. And I noticed that because I was messing around with my jetting and everything, that the vacuum would go away even though I was running 40. Like, uh, I'll give an example. Okay, so I'm running uh, a 125 main, okay? And I changed it to a 130, okay? And I lost my eight uh, vacuum points from 78. It actually went up to 82. It's like, oh, look at that, look at that. So then I changed my air corrector to compensate, okay? So I went from a 180 to a 240. Yeah, I said 240. And that got my vacuum, I'm sorry, yeah, that got my vacuum right back down to 78 again. Okay, you see what I mean? It, 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 this is very, very touchy. You have to know what you're doing with your jetting, okay? All right, but other than that, uh, basically, we're going for the mileage motor. <laughs> Trying to get more miles out of this thing. All right, so I'll show you on the on the uh, computer. I'm using the CB Performance Black Box. Uh, I'm gonna show you on the computer uh, uh, what I did and how it changes everything. Okay.
All right, before we hit the road, uh, I need to explain something real quick on how this computer is going to be telling us if we're doing good or bad. Okay, so, um, but first I have to clarify something. Okay, a lot of guys are probably going, 40 degrees is gonna burn up your motor. Yes, that is correct. If you're wide open throttle and you're running 40 degrees, 42 degrees, that's definitely gonna grenade your motor. Okay, wide open throttle. But at cruise, cruise, you're running 40, 42 degrees, you're fine, okay? Assuming your jetting is correct, okay? You should not make any heat. As a matter of fact, your engine will run the coolest it's ever ran, if you get this correct, all right? All right, so here's the thing that I wanna show you so that you guys don't get confused. So basically, this number you want it the lowest you can, which is the map number, which is the vacuum number, okay? It's a map vacuum number. Timing, this is what, I, what we're gonna be cruising somewhere around here in the 40s, okay? That will give me like a 78 on a flat ground, okay? You can't be going uphill or downhill. It has to be flat ground, like a freeway, you know? And, uh, okay, so basically what I'll do is I'm gonna highlight all of these change them back to 28 so my timing at that speed which will be about 70 miles an hour it'll be 28 and this thing is going to shoot up from 78 it's going to shoot up to like 86 or higher okay that's going to give me horrible gas mileage you should be safe as so long as you have these you know higher you know 40 numbers or, or whatever higher timing numbers far away from your wide open your wide open will be way over here on a cb performance uh black box uh, timing map so you want to keep those in a safe zone. I got I got mine at 32. I don't know if you can see that. They're at 32. Um, wide open throttle. So that's pretty much it. So let's just go for it. Go for a drive. But at least you know now what's going to be happening. Okay, so we are on the freeway right now. We are going to be playing with our CB performance map. See? We're doing about eh, 70. That's about 3,000 RPMs right there. Okay. But uh, we're going to go into our computer. There we go. So basically, okay, what we want is our 80, that area on the bottom left says 86 map, you know, right there. We want that number to go down as far down as we can. Right now, I'm already running the maximum timing I can run there for the maximum vacuum. And as you can tell right now, like, okay, now I'm on a flat surface. Right now we were going uphill. That's why it went up to 86. But right now we're on a flat surface. We're doing 70 more or less. And our vacuum is actually pretty damn good. It's in the mid 70s, okay? I've already highlighted the blue section right there in the middle of the map. We're gonna subtract a lot of timing okay a lot of timing okay right now it's at 42 we're gonna change it to 40 36 34 32 that's more or less what people run on the uh 009s okay mechanical 009s but a lot of people you know say oh that's a little too much you know it'll it'll run hot whatever right so they run like 30 or sometimes even 28 okay we're gonna hit set and watch that map number, which is like in the mid 70s. Okay, hitting send, watch what's gonna happen to that number. Actually, I'm sorry, we're in the 80s. Okay, 82. Okay, depending on, you know, I'm having to, I'm right next to big, big rigs. When I hit the big rigs, actually my, my, uh, my numbers actually drop, my vacuum number actually dropped because I'm, they're sucking me in. <laughs> they're sucking me in. <laughs> Let me pass these guys. Accelerating. Okay. I 
I can actually tell that my throttle response is not that good anymore. It just feels, eh, you know? Like I gotta give it a lot of throttle. Like anyways, we're at like 82, averaging like 82, you know, for like 70 miles an hour. Okay, let me, now we're gonna add the timing back. Okay, there we go. We're gonna add that back. We're gonna add timing. Because right now we're, you know, somewhere in the 80s. On the, we're averaging 80 something, okay, like 82. Okay, we're gonna add, 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 add. We're gonna go back to 42. Whoops, too much. Subtract, 42. We're gonna hit send. See what happens to that 82. Takes a little while. Bam! See that? It just dropped to the low 70s. Low 70s. Okay, so that's exactly what you wanna do. Okay, the thing is this. Your wide open should have a, you know, as you lose vacuum, as your number gets bigger, you're losing vacuum. You want that gradual downturn uh, on your timing. You wanna turn it down. So basically wide open throttle, I would go 32, wide open throttle, maybe 34, you know, depending on your, on your uh, setup. Um, I'm running a Type 4 engine, 2256. So my engine is like, like it runs really cool. So I, I don't have any problems, but let's go wide open throttle and watch the timing. Okay, just watch it. It's gonna drop to like 32. 30, 32. Okay, I'm backing off because it picks up speed really quick. Okay, you saw that, how it dropped? Okay, wide open throttle. Do not put 42 degrees wide open throttle. You will burn that motor, okay? All right, now you know. Okay, so 009 mechanical cannot do this, okay? Do not go beyond 32 or 34 degrees of total timing. You will burn that motor. Uh, this is actually very easy because I have this, this uh, uh, CB Performance uh, computer uh, program that I'm able to do this. But you could do this with a, uh, what you call it? A vacuum gauge and a little, little pistol gun that has a vacuum so that you can simulate it. Uh, there's a lot of ways of doing it. You just have to use your, your imagination to get that maximum vacuum and you know how to set your distributor. But by far the easiest way is just to have a computer. You know, you can actually see what's happening in real time. That's how I'm, I'm doing this. Like, look at, look at my vacuum. That thing was running at 82, all right? All right, so that is pretty much it for this. Just remember, your jetting has to be dead on. If it's not dead on, I can already tell because I've been playing with this a lot, okay? Uh, I was, uh, okay, I'll give you an example. My main was uh, 125 and I went to 130 and I lost about half that vacuum that I got right there. I lost half of it because uh, the jetting was way off. So I brought it back with, uh, with the air jet. Uh, I went from a 180 air jet to a 240. Yeah, I said 240. And that brought it back into spec and I got all my vacuum back, okay? Um, yeah, so the jets have to be dead on. You have to know what you're doing with your jets. Otherwise, you're not gonna see a lot of improvement with the timing thing that we're doing right here. All right, so it has to be a flat level ground also. It can't be going uphill or going downhill. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, adios muchachos, adios muchachos.